What's going on, everyone? I'm just an average American here today to react and learn about the top 10 symbols of Canada. Canada, I mean, if you were to ask, if you were to ask an American what the symbol of Canada was, I think almost 10 out of 10 Americans would say the maple leaf, um, mostly because of the Canadian flag. But uh, other than that, gosh, symbol of Canada? That's like saying, what's the symbol of America? I think a lot of people in America would say it's a, an eagle. That's kind of like a bird that's always represented America. I don't know if other places around the world think about that. But when we think of Canada, we think of the maple leaf, maple syrup. I've, <laughs> I've, I've talked about maple syrup uh, many times before. Don't get me started on the maple syrup. But anyway, maybe that's on this list, maybe it's not. Uh, maybe I'll be uh, justified <laughs> in my obsession. But anyway, let's find out. Top 10, top 10 symbols of Canada. Who knows? For this list, we've decided to stick with things and not people. Oh, right. Uh, I was mostly thinking of things as well. Because a symbol of Canada, I guess, could be a famous Canadian or historical figure, but this is, okay, just, just stuff that represents Canada. I like that. Number 10, the loon. The loon. So the, a loon, I didn't know what a loon was actually, but luckily they have a picture here. It's kind of like a duck. It's a bird. <laughs> it's, do Canadians, are they very familiar with loons? I, I had never, N I never knew what a loon was. I don't even know if I would have known what that word was. Kicking off our list is a symbol of the Canadian wilderness. Canadian wilderness. Nice. Uh, I wonder why this is so important in particular. Many Canucks spend their summers at cottages or camping, and that's where most hear the loon's iconic call. Oh, that's neat. Man, I know. Uh, uh, I've, I never knew what a loon was, and I certainly have never heard a loon's call until right now. This second, breaking news for me. It was a toss-up okay. between... Kind of sounds like a turkey a little bit. A little bit more elegant than a turkey, but kind of a similar gobbling sound thing going on there. Yeah. It was a toss-up between the loon and the Canada goose to see which would make our list, but their $1 coin is called a loony, so that's got to be worth something. Really? See, this is this is one of those like very intricate details I would never know. That uh, is loony like a slang term for a dollar coin or is it an official term? Like you can call a do a US dollar a buck. That's like kind of a a uh, common phrase for it. Canada's new dollar coin, convenient currency, and it's here now. Go with it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if it's on the dollar coin, I think the loon deserves its uh, spot. Number nine. Mm -mm. Maple syrup. I'm just, uh, I'm justified. <laughs> it's turned me into a mad scientist, a mad maple scientist. That maple syrup is on the list. Canadians, do, do Canadians associate maple syrup with Canada in the way that Americans associate it with? Because it's like, I don't know what the equivalent for America would be. Like, I always say ranch dressing or something. Americans would kind of say, yeah, ranch. America and ranch goes together. Yeah, like peas in a pod. Uh, and we'd think that was kind of funny, kind of true. So is that what it is in Canada? Maple syrup? and Canada go together like it's kind of a funny thing, but it's also has a lot of truth to it. That's that's what I think is happening here. One benefit to six months of winter is maple syrup. Yeah. Not Mrs. Butterworth's, Aunt Jemima, or some other imposter, real maple syrup from maple trees. Ooh, you know, I wonder if I've, I've probably never in my life had genuine, authentic maple syrup. I've probably only had some kind of American knockoff made of weird syrup additives and imposters and that just tastes, still tastes delicious. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm a sucker. I'm, I'm still just a, an American who's a sucker for fake, uh, fake syrup. But 
I'd love to have uh, whatever, if there is an authentic maple syrup, I'd love to have it. I'd drink it. Over 80% of the world's maple syrup comes from Canada, so that's why it's such a- Whoa, how much? Over 80% of the world's maple syrup comes- 80%. But we might be talking about this very pure, very authentic maple syrup, and there's still a lot of kind of crappy, fake syrup that the rest of the world purchases and whatnot outside of Canada. Canada. So that's why it's such a hot commodity in souvenir shops. Plus, yeah. they put that on everything. They, <laughs> I think uh, that's a, Americans would agree with that statement. <laughs> such a hot commodity in souvenir shops. Plus, they put that on everything. Yeah. Pancakes, Canadian bacon, or as they call it, back bacon, beans, even snow. Yeah, this snow uh, maple syrup treat thing. This seems so Canadian to me that it'd be, I want it. You know, at first I was a little put off by it, but now I would, uh, I, I'd take a bite or maybe you lick it. I don't know. It's really good on snow. <laughs> Number eight, wilderness. Wilderness? Wilderness as a symbol of Canada? Uh, it's not as clean as a uh, loon or syrup because we're talking about wilderness in general, but uh, it makes sense if wilderness is a huge part of the culture. Contrary to popular belief, most Canadians don't live in igloos, ha. but it can be cold. We're talking minus 40 in the dead of winter cold. Dang. Yes, that's Celsius. Canada? Wow. <laughs> Must have been cold. What makes living in Canada <laughs> worth it, among other things, is the striking natural scenery. Yeah, I've seen, I've reacted to a couple of Canadian scenery, and it is beautiful. Americans don't uh, naturally associate that with Canada. The genuine, astounding beauty, b more beautiful than lots of places in America could never show you sites that I've seen in videos on Canada. It's quite amazing. Aside from the fact that the Canadian side of Niagara Falls is way better, the landscape's got everything. Huh. Mountains, valleys, prairies, forests, glaciers, beaches. Hey. Yeah, a huge diversity of nature. My goodness. That's pretty cool to have all in one country. They don't call it the Great White North for nothing. So the whole thing is the Great White North and the blue like the ocean. Right, because water's blue. He's a genius, eh? Number seven. <laughs> beer? Do Canadians like beer? Love beer? I, I didn't really think, I didn't make that association. Americans. Beer could be a, a symbol of America for sure. Americans love beer. But so do a lot of places in the world actually have pretty large associations with beer. But I didn't think Canada was necessarily one of them. Beer. With a drinking age of either 18 or 19, Canucks get a leg up on their American counterparts when it comes to boozing. Yeah, yeah, Americans have to wait till 21 years old. And they definitely never break break that rule, ever. No, definitely not. Beer may not be the most sophisticated beverage on the market, but Canadians love making it, and they love drinking it even more. Hmm. Grab a 2-4 of Molson or Labatt's, tuck in to Heckle Coach's Corner. Now that's a Saturday night. Okay. Oh, I'm rich, I'm richer than you, and you can speak. I bet Canadians love a good beer with, uh, like, a hockey game or something, huh? Great, so don't start telling... Oh, man, I'm starting... I almost said A. I'm almost... <laughs> that would have been such a good... Uh, does eh and a kind of count, you know, that would have been such a good opportunity. M Canadians love uh, a, a big beer with their hockey match, eh? Tell me how to sp I can count. Take off, hoser. Number six. <laughs> moose. 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 Yes, I should have thought of this. Uh, I don't know if this is correct or not, but apparently it is correct. Americans really, really think about moose. Uh, when they think of Canada. Um, <laughs> almost to the extent where cartoons would show like a Canadian riding a moose or something, which would be absurd, I know, unless that's true. But, uh, <laughs> yes, moose for sure. I agree. Moose. This Canadian icon is a brunette beauty with nice legs and a great rack. Moose are actually amazing. I don't, I've never seen a moose in real life, but I believe they're like enormous. 
scary. They'd probably scare me. How like it's quite an animal. It's huh, it's like gosh, I don't even know what to compare it to. A deer uh, on steroids or something. Sorry guys, we're talking about the moose. The moose is a symbol of honor, durability, and determination. Plus, yeah. they're absolutely everywhere in the Canadian wilderness. Really? That's so cool. It's, it is a very noble creature, very strong. That's a really good symbol to have for our nation. Canada, I'm, j I'm a little jealous of this one. They also make great mascots, mementos, and hmm. money. Okay, yeah. technically that's a caribou on the quarter, but you get it. Caribou. I, I have heard of that, sort of, kind of like a deer. Everything's just like a deer. That's the only way I can <laughs> understand the world. Number five, the beaver. No. The beaver. No, not beaver. Oh, I was gonna say, that's beaver. <laughs> the beaver. The beaver. Are there a lot of beavers in Canada? I've never really thought about this. Beaver. <laughs> Another important animal, the beaver was historically at the center of Canada's hunting and fur trade. It hmm. even became a symbol for the iconic Hudson's Bay Company as early as 1678. It's okay. on the stamps, it's on the nickel, it's been the national animal since 1975. Is it really the national animal? That's not the moose or the loon? It's the beaver? I mean, the beaver is... If you had told me, like right now, that the beaver is the a symbol of Canada, I would have... Something deep in me is like, yeah, I think I've heard of that. But I'm shocked that it is so prominent uh, and, and such a large symbol, if it is. Um, it's on stamps and stuff. So, yeah, this one kind of surprises me. I didn't know this. Attack! <laughs> Canadians really <laughs> love their beavers. Okay. Get your mind out of the gutter. Number four, Tim Hortons. Tim freaking Hortons. I have heard of this. I am aware of Tim Hortons now, and this definitely deserves to be on this list. It's like the super convenience store, like I almost wanted to compare it to a gas station, but it's way better than a gas station uh, where they make all this fresh desserts and they have a menu and coffee and yeah, seems like a really cool place. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to compare it to in America, if 7-Eleven, or if that's uh, cutting, if that's putting Tim Hortons too short, I feel like Tim Hortons is a little better than that. If you've ever visited the Great White North, you may have ordered a Double Double and some Timbits, or a- Yeah, it has like, names for foods, Double Double, so this is almost, this is like far, far more legitimate of a place to eat than what I'm thinking of, so. I don't even know what to compare it to in America. At least seen how pervasive. Do Canadians consider it fast food? It's not like this is a McDonald's type place, is it? Timmy's is. Why don't we go to Tim's? You think there's one around here? <laughs> Obviously. Think of it this way. <laughs> Starbucks has just over 30% of the US coffee market. Tim Hortons has over 60% of Canada's. That's like more. Wow, so. Yeah, Americans get a lot of their coffee at gas stations or Starbucks. So for for Tim Hortons to have 60% 60, 60 of the coffee market is incredible. More than one on every corner. Plus, only Canadians would name a coffee chain after a hockey player, eh? I mean, it's... Oh, he was a hockey player. I didn't even think about that. I was like, yeah, Tim Hortons, that's the name. It's like, probably it has a history. It's a person. I didn't know. The best of all Canadian worlds. It's named after a hockey player. You get donuts, you get a coffee, and the help is very polite. I mean, if Colin Mockery says it's true, then then it's true. Number three. Oh, fuck. The Royal. Oh. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Mounties. Mounties. This is one of there's there's like five or six things Americans think of when they think of Canada. The average American, and Mounties is like. One of the, one of those. It's, <laughs> because it's such a striking image to Americans with the hat and the red, and they're in all, all this different American pop culture. When a Canada gets shown uh, on a cartoon or something or whatever, there's a, oh, for some reason, there's always a Mountie. Like Americans love to put that in there. So I'm very aware of this symbol. Coming in just ahead of the lumberjack as a representation huh. of Canadian brawn is the yeah. RCMP. 
According to the stereotype, a Mountie is polite, stoic, and always gets his man. Yeah. So yeah Dudley do right. I know it huh. must be hard for you to believe. You with your eyes as blue and heart so true. But but this isn't even the Americans pro mostly think this is like the normal Canadian police force. Like these are cops. This is the police. It's, I'm pretty sure Mounties are a a special uh, police force, if you want to say, or uh, just a force where they're specially trained. They are mounted on horses for more specific duties than that. Whether or not that's true, the RCMP is a symbol of Canada. And yeah. the uniform of a red surge, Stetson, and Jodhpur's is iconic. You know how firemen yeah. are? Hot? It's kind of like that. Number two. It is an iconic look. Oh, look at this. We got hockey. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Hockey. Canadians spend their childhoods playing it on frozen ponds, their Saturday nights watching it on the CBC, and their summers waiting for it to start again. I mean, hockey is awesome. It's just not that commonly played in America. Uh, definitely not ice hockey, because you can only play that indoors. We don't get enough ice and snow. And Americans are just too obsessed with football and uh, baseball and basketball, that hockey gets pushed to the side, like other sports. But uh, hockey's badass, and <laughs> I definitely, I'd be a fan. Like, if I was in Canada, I know I'd be one of them. Hockey is the true national sport of Canada, and it props mm. up another Canuck icon, the beer industry. Canadians take their hot- Yeah, so I was gonna say, <laughs> beer, beer and hockey. There is a Canadian symbol for you. Seriously, like riot seriously. And they practically worship their holy grail, Lord Stanley's Cup. The Stanley mm. Cup, emblematic of the world's championship. Number one. Of course, this makes complete sense. Uh, and it's definitely the symbol I thought of for Canada. Maple Leaf. Taking the top spot on our list is the definitive symbol of Canada. Yes, every American would say Maple Leaf. I mean, one, one in a million would say something like, you know, Mountie or Moose or Maple Syrup. But most would remember the great Maple Leaf. The maple is the king of the Canadian forest, and its leaf is on the penny and the flag. Ahead yes. of beer, beavers, and timmies, the maple leaf is the symbol of peace, unity, and tolerance that Canadians identify with most. Canada is the second largest landmass, the first nation of hockey, and the best part of North America! Canada's a great country, eh? <laughs> okay. Tell us which symbols you think we've missed by subscribing to- Oh, that's it. That's it. The leaf got the top spot. The maple leaf. That was Watch Mojo. Very nice list. I liked that a lot. Uh, I did, this list had a lot of things on it that I had sort of forgotten about. And then as soon as they said it, I was like, oh yes, that is, that's something Americans know about. I think f like roughly 50% of these I had heard of at some point. And then a couple of them are like, absolutely, maple syrup, moose, maple leaf, um, and I was actually really happy that this list, if this list is true, I don't know if it is true or not. I don't know if a Canadian created this list, but but if this list is true, it really confirms a lot of the things I didn't know if they were true or not, you know? About uh, some things that America thinks about Canada and that are symbols of Canada. Uh, that I never really know, because I'm it's always in the back of my mind. Is that true? I've never been to Canada. I've never had a Canadian like say that they like maple syrup or that beavers are important or the wilderness or the hockey. But yeah, it seems like seems like a lot of it actually is Americans for the most part have a lot of it correct, some of the things they think. So that's good, you know? <laughs> we, well at least we know something. Anyway. If you, uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada, Canadian culture, things like this I've never seen, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.